If you're like many of us who are captivated by the wonders of nature, you probably know that Yellowstone is a hot spot for geothermal activity. This beautiful park is home to some of the most stunning natural features on Earth. But every now and then, these features remind us of their unpredictable nature. So what exactly happened at Yellowstone that has got everyone talking? What do we understand about the science behind it? The unexpected geyser eruption on a serene morning at Yellowstone's Biscuit Basin, one of the park's famous geyser basins. Visitors are strolling along the boardwalks, taking in the breathtaking views of steam rising from the hot springs, when suddenly an eruption occurs. This isn't a typical geyser spout. It's a powerful and unexpected explosion. Boiling water and rocks are launched into the air, creating a scene of both awe and concern. This dramatic event happened around 10 a.m. local time. The geyser, which was dormant or at least not known for such explosive behavior, caught everyone off guard. The eruption was so intense that it damaged the nearby pedestrian boardwalk. Imagine being there, witnessing this sudden display of geothermal power. It's both thrilling and a little scary. Impact on the area now. You might be wondering about the immediate aftermath. Thankfully, despite the unexpected and potentially dangerous nature of the eruption, nobody was injured. This is quite fortunate considering how popular Yellowstone is with tourists, especially during the summer months. People come from all over the world to witness the park's unique geothermal features, and the boardwalks provide a safe way to explore these wonders up close. However, the incident did result in some damage. The boiling water and debris not only affected the boardwalk, but also led to the temporary closure of the Biscuit Basin parking lot and surrounding areas. The closure was a necessary safety measure, allowing park officials and scientists to assess the situation and ensure that visitors wouldn't be at risk from any further unexpected activity. Expert insights. What caused the eruption? So what led to this sudden and surprising geyser eruption? To find out, geologists and scientists from the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, YVO, stepped in. The YVO is a group dedicated to monitoring the volcanic and geothermal activity in the park. They work to understand the complex systems beneath Yellowstone and provide crucial information to keep visitors safe. According to the experts, this eruption wasn't linked to volcanic activity. While Yellowstone is a massive volcanic hotspot, known for its potential for large-scale eruptions, this particular event was more about the park's geothermal nature. Geysers, after all, are a product of heat from the Earth's mantle interacting with groundwater. When this water is heated enough, it can lead to an eruption as steam and pressure build up. In this case, it seems the eruption was caused by a sudden release of built-up steam and water. These kinds of events can happen in areas like Yellowstone, where the geothermal energy is both intense and unpredictable. While the scientists continue to study the specifics of this eruption, it's a reminder of just how dynamic and powerful Earth's geothermal systems can be. Yellowstone, a geothermal wonderland. Yellowstone is a truly unique place on our planet. It sits atop a supervolcano, one of the largest in the world, but don't worry, the supervolcano isn't something we need to be concerned about erupting anytime soon. Instead, it's the heat from this volcanic activity that fuels the park's famous geothermal features. The supervolcano's magma chamber heats the underground water, creating the conditions necessary for geysers, hot springs, and fumaroles. Geysers are perhaps the most famous, with Old Faithful leading the charge erupting with a spectacular water and steam show every 90 minutes. Hot springs, like the stunning Grand Prismatic Spring, dazzle with their vibrant colors, a result of heat-loving microorganisms called thermophiles. Fumaroles, or steam vents, are like nature's pressure cookers, releasing steam 
and gases from the Earth's crust. And let's not forget the bubbling mud pots, which are like hot springs, but with a twist, thick, boiling mud instead of water. These features are not only beautiful, but also a testament to the incredible geological processes at work beneath the Earth. But there are many other, less predictable geysers that can surprise Yellowstone observers and enthusiasts sometimes. This recent eruption at Biscuit Basin is a perfect example of the unpredictable nature of these features. While scientists have a good understanding of the overall geothermal system, the exact timing and nature of geyser eruptions can often take us unawares most times. Yellowstone is one of the few places in the world where you can see such a diverse range of geothermal activity. So, whether you're a science enthusiast or just love stunning natural beauty, you should check out the Yellowstone National Park. If you're liking this video so far, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Other active geysers around the world. Geysers are fascinating natural wonders that can be found in various places around the world, not just in Yellowstone. Let's explore some of the most notable and active geysers outside the United States. First stop, Iceland. Known as the land of fire and ice, Iceland is home to the Strakur geyser, located in the Haukadalur Valley. Strakur is one of the most famous geysers in the world, erupting every five to 10 minutes. This geyser shoots water up to 20 meters into the air, creating a spectacular display. The name Strakur means churn, which perfectly describes the swirling motion of the water just before it erupts. Visitors to Iceland can easily visit Strakur and witness its frequent and reliable eruptions, making it a highlight of any trip to the country. Next, we travel to the high Andes of northern Chile, where we find the El Tatio geyser field, this seats at an altitude of over 4,300 meters. El Tatio is the third largest geyser field in the world and the largest in the Southern Hemisphere. Here, you can find over 80 active geysers, which create a breathtaking landscape, especially at sunrise when the cold air contrasts with the hot steam. The geysers in El Tatio are generally smaller than those in Yellowstone, with water jets reaching around six meters. Nonetheless, the combination of bubbling pools spouting geysers, and the dramatic Andean backdrop makes this a must-see destination. Finally, let's talk about Geyser, the namesake of all geysers. Geyser, also known as the Great Geyser, was once one of the most powerful geysers in the world, capable of shooting water up to 70 meters into the air. However, it has become less active over the years and erupts only sporadically now. Despite this, its historical significance and the nearby active Strakur make it a popular site for visitors. Staying safe in Yellowstone, with all this talk of eruptions and geothermal activity, you might be wondering how to stay safe if you visit Yellowstone. The good news is that the park has a lot of measures in place to protect visitors. The boardwalks, for example, are there to keep you on safe ground, away from the hot, fragile, and sometimes unstable geothermal areas. If you're planning a trip to Yellowstone, here are a few tips to keep in mind. Stay on designated paths. This is crucial to staying safe. The ground around geothermal features can be thin and fragile. Stepping off the path can not only damage the environment, but also put you at serious risk of injury. Follow park guidelines. The park rangers and staff are there to ensure your safety. Pay attention to any warnings or closures and respect the signs and barriers. Be prepared for rapid weather changes. Yellowstone's weather can change quickly. Dress in layers and be prepared for anything from hot sun to sudden rain. Keep a safe distance from wildlife. Yellowstone is also home to a variety of wildlife, including bison and bears. While it's exciting to see these animals, it's important to keep a safe distance for your safety and theirs. Finally, it's important to stay informed. Before and during your visit, check for updates from the park, especially if there's been recent geothermal activity. This can help you plan your trip and avoid any closed areas. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more interesting information like this. See you in the next video.